All right, boys, we're in the World Cup. We're going up against Argentina. What are the comments saying? Petition to begin a raid on players from Antarctica, 421. I mean, whoever liked that one last missed opportunity. Could have been 420. Next comment, make a player from Antarctica. It'll be cool and funny. What is this meme? Tristan, what is this meme? All right, if you guys want someone from Antarctica. Guess we're going to Antarctica. Alright, so there you guys go. Um, I mean, technically, I actually looked up in the cheat engine if you can make someone from Antarctica, but apparently, I don't think you can be a citizen of Antarctica, period. Even if you're born in Antarctica, you aren't in a citizen of Antarctica. I think there are seven different countries that lay claim to different parts of Antarctica, so depending on what region you're born in Antarctica, if hypothetically you were, you would go to that region. So obviously, it wasn't gonna be in the game. I don't even know if Antarctica has a flag. So the best that I could come up with is we found someone buried in ice in Antarctica, and the only person that came to mind was the one and only Captain America. But obviously, this isn't the America Ruins Everything crew boat. This is the China Ruins Everything crew boat. So we found Captain China. Now, obviously, we couldn't add Captain China onto the squad already because the squad has to be inputted before you even enter the World Cup. So we won't see Captain China until after this episode. And also, who do we vote to make Captain China? Because we already got the backstories on a couple guys. Like, it can't be Wang Yang, who is technically a captain. That and he's a clone. Pong Pong Tran, we already know his backstory. I don't know, maybe make Lu Bu the actual Lu Bu from ancient China. He was just frozen in Antarctica for this whole entire time. You guys go ahead, vote up in the eye thingies. Who do you think that Captain China should be? Should it be Lu Bu? Should it be Wang Yang? Or should it be one of our new China men that will make an appearance in the next World Cup? And guys, thank you so much for the kind words on the intro. I worked too many hours going ahead and editing that so it's good to know you guys enjoyed it Fudo Akio says damn that intro was good the way that Saitama looked at Zlatan emoji and then comment god followed that up with wait Quan Punch Man and Zlatan are in a relationship question mark I didn't even notice that but if we look at the trailer right here yes Saitama aka Quan Punch Man and Wango Himovich, go ahead and hold hands in the intro. So I leave that up to you guys. Is this canon? Go ahead, vote up in the eye thingies. Arc One Punch Man and Wango Himovich partners on the pitch as well as life. Note that if you vote yes, this will be the second homosexual relationship ever to appear on a YouTube career mode series. Yep, I wouldn't be the first. John Green actually did it way back. I think it was the Wimbly Wombly. Ah, that was a good series. So the comments have been fun. Let's get to the last one. Drizzy says, petition to keep your work rates low, low until you start uploading China ruins career mode. <laughs> Twice a <only. laughs> Oh, shit. You got me, bro. It's gonna stay low, low. <laughs>
But on a serious note, I've done daily before and what it kind of leads to is honestly is just burnout. Eventually it just becomes quantity over quality and it doesn't allow me any time to really think or flesh out more creative ideas. I just have to go, go, go. And it's because that I have a whole entire week to think of more creative ideas and do a little bit more creative edits like the one that we had in the last one and also talk to you guys on the stream as well as read your comments. It ultimately makes the quality of each episode way higher than if I were to do it even twice a week. So hopefully this makes you understand a little bit more, but if you think I'm a lazy piece of shit, well, probably not wrong. But anyway, let's jump into it. As you can see in the last episode, we made it into the round of 16, and we are blessed by meeting Lionel Messi in Argentina in the knockout rounds. You can already see that a bunch of games have already been played. Spain took out Colombia. Portugal actually went down to Denmark. Germany beat the Ivory Coast and France moved on past Netherlands. Well, Italy 2 0 Switzerland and Brazil 2 1 Australia. The only two matches left to be played in this round are Cameroon versus England, Argentina versus, of course, China. To make matters worse, we're playing this, I believe, on three days rest, which means a lot of our top dogs, including Quant Punch Man, most of our defense are not at full stamina. And we have a little bit of a choice to make because Chong Lee did this in the last episode. So I don't know who to play between him and Money Money who struggled with crosses because he's too short. But I think for this next matchup, I gotta go with Yuan Yuan just because he has better stamina. Oh, interesting. There's gonna be no Lionel Messi here. At least it's not in their starting lineup and they're suffering from a little bit of fatigue as well. Now they drop one 94 Argentinian for now another 94 rated Argentinian policy. So Dybala is going to be up on the right side, but both him and Akardi are kind of low on stam. You got Angel Correa out on the left side, and then a pretty strong midfield, 85 rated Paredes, 88 rated Losesco, and 80 rated Acuna. Okay, they're playing a left back at central defensive mid, and their back line is not that great. Tagliafico at 82, Franco at 82, Mangalin at 81, and a right back of 83 with Ruli only at 84. This is a very beatable squad. Oh, there's Messi. Why is it Messi playing? Oh, Messi! He's only rated 86, he's super diminished. And they have no other midfielders. Okay, this is a vulnerable Argentinian side. And look at this, the big dog Sergio Aguero down to an 83. I mean, they got the better attack, but we might have the better defense. All right, boys, let's get into it. Go time with it. But we could advance. We could get into the next round and I'm playing around. Regular mode disengaged, China mode. Indeed. We are gonna go up against the winner of Cameroon and England in the next round. That's if we advance. Once again, no one in China has a flag, even though probably most of these flags that the Argentinians are waving around were made in China. There he is, the new talisman for Argentina. Can he do what Messi could not? And then 90 rated Acardi up front. Not on full stamina though, I know this. Let us begin the knockout stages for China. One punch, no! All Argentina so far, but Wang Gang Jr. is going to cut inside. He's going to bring it back over. He's going to slaughter it across. Let's go! Go on, punch man! <laughs> go ahead! Punch the flagpole! Okay, kick it! One kick, man! I'll, I'll take it! Look at that. I must say, against the run of play, it's been all Argentina early on. And then just a cheeky little ball roll, the layoff. And the defense, the defense is not that great. Only around an 82 rated. Look at that. Look at the font. It's in blue. That is sexy. Mine doesn't have that. 1-0 early on, 16 minutes. Oh, that's good work. Down the middle. Oh, what a save. What a freaking save. Oh, another save. Argentina have come to play today. Boot it out. Yo, oh my gosh. The AI for Argentina, man. They have come to play. Look at this. I am trying to tackle the, the sixth pass in there. All right, good work, good work. All right, we got the overlap here. Play to the inside. Play it forward. Probably off. Is he on? Ah, oh, we're off. Oh, it's a terrible giveaway. Nice cut inside. Wow. Terrible giveaway in the midfield. He streaks inside. Just rinses my defender who runs across him. And then beautifully, beautifully placed. Paint in the corner there. Halftime. Down 2-1. It's gonna be rough coming back. I've been talking all this mess, but it is mostly Argentina. Seven shots to four, six shots on target to four. It honestly could have been more than two goals to one. 
as we had some miraculous saves from Bang Wang. A lot of our guys are tired. It's only going to get harder from here. I got to play my best FIFA. Oh, please. <gasps> no! <laughs> Alfonso. Alfonso, you're <laughs> Oh my god, that could be the miss. That could be the miss that sends us out of the World Cup. Ah, oh, I'm in! No, what a save from Ruli! Oh my god, look! I'm making that tackle and it bounces right back to them. Let's go to the back post. Come on! Come on! Let's go! We're back in it, boys! Six, six, six minutes! <laughs> Good work here, just bodies flooding in, nobody's marking. Andreas Pereira, and that's a beautiful first time volley into the side netting. Look at this take, this is not an easy shot. Actually slices it, but still puts it on target, thank God. We're in. Oh, look at Andres. Running, rough shot through, and look at this. Look at Wang Yang. He's gonna put it. Oh, power! Wait, yeah! Let's go! Oh, I got so excited, I just skipped. <laughs> I was just mashing buttons on a thing. But what a turnaround! Two goals in three minutes, boys! And China could be through. It's a cool punch, man. Cutting to the inside! Oh, Alfonso, Alfonso, Alfonso has let us down. That could have been it. That could have been us through. We got to take Davies off, man. He's killing us. I'm going to put Wonton in. I'm going to bring in Lubu. And I think my final substitution, I'm going to take out Augie. I'm going to put in Chong Lee. I'm going to switch him up with Money Money. Hold on, boys. You guys can have it here. I'll sit back. Oh, please! No! Oh my god! What a point blank save! I knew it. When they put it to that back post, I wasn't gonna win it. And then some sh Tom Fuller and shenanigans, but a hero is made this day! And we're about the middle. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't keep up. I'm not a robot. I can't control everyone on the pitch. Crowd this middle area. Crowd this middle area! Oh no, I got a shorty again. What a take! Down! No! Are you kidding me? Bro! I gotta watch this again. Look at this. Flick up, side pass, first time. Perfect. Perfect arrow top corner. Of course. A oh, freaking course. I can't even, man. 89th minute. Bullshit. From the back oh, post. Man. He's there! No! Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> We're going to extra time. <laughs> oh my god, my heart. 3-3. Three, three. Probably the match of the tournament so far. Look at this. We have been battered. 14 shots, 11 on target. I mean, we've been pretty good at making chances too, but my god. Two periods of extra time, then pens. Oh, wonton. Let's go. He smalls! He's in! He's gonna shoot! No! Why is Ruli standing on his head? When has Ruli ever been this good? Yeah, I've been schooled on this wing all day. You want, you want? Oh my god! It's a simple cross into the box. And he strong sides my defender? Who is that? Nah, that's Chong Lee again letting us down. Chong Lee gets out of the way for his attacker to get a noggin onto that. Please. Me? No! How is Ruli this good? Please! Oh my god. Ah! Ah! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I went to tackle him and it like force pushed me away. Did you guys see? The game doesn't want me to win, bro. Everyone in the world is conspiring against China. Bro, I can't even, man. I cannot even. All right. Hungman's son is in. There's no- Oh my god! F*** you, Ruli! I go near post, I go far post, the man's an impenetrable wall. He's turning to fucking Oliver Kahn. Come on. Lined up! What?! I can only do so much. I can only do so much. That's lined up perfectly for him. He nails this nine times out of ten. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh brilliant. Brilliant. I my guy makes the tackle. It falls right back to him. Five three in extra time. I'm gonna quit, man. Argentina has just ended this career mode. Ended it! Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> That match was impossible to win, bro. Impossible. You know what this felt a lot like? This felt like Japan versus Belgium, bro. You know, Japan, it just looked like they were gonna do it, and then at the last second, they just choked it away. This final goal was cherry on top, bro. Look. Pereira puts in the tackle. He wins it right back. What are we doing? Playing five? Pro it was pretty even, man. We actually got off more shots. We had the same amount of shots on target. They were just super clinical. Same amount of possession. We tackled more. And let's be honest, we had the better opportunities. We had one on one with the keeper. What, like five times? And Ruli stopped every single one of them. That's how we go out for the 2022 Qatar World Cup. 5 2. Cameroon actually ended up beating England. So we would have faced Cameroon. We could have probably gone to the round of four, man. Whole reality check. We just weren't ready. We didn't have the quality of players. Our defense wasn't ready. The squad as is, is just not good enough. We need a God squad because when the computer gets like that, man, when the AI is playing like that, they're on form. You just need gods all across your board to even keep up with them. Now, as you can see, we're already into the next season. And we got a season opener in the Premier League up against Liverpool and then the Super Cup up against Atletico Madrid. I know you guys voted and everything to say that, hey, if you lose in the first game, just move on and go into the beginning of the first season, but I I cannot play another game of FIFA now. <laughs> if I play another match like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my own dick off with this pair of scissors right here, just dick off. It's gonna be demonetized on YouTube. I'm gonna die from blood loss. It's gonna be humiliating. Or maybe I won't die from blood loss. My penis isn't that big. Or my girlfriend will be disappointed. Or maybe she won't be. Either way, I'm not on the right to play anymore, people. I'm sorry, guys. As for the remainder of the World Cup, Spain spanked Denmark 5-1 to advance. France beat Germany 2-1. Um, Italy and Brazil tied, but Brazil moved on in pens, and then Cameroon fell to Argentina 2-0. In the semifinals, France won 1-0 versus Spain, and Brazil won 1-0 up against Argentina. Classic matchup right there. Spain go ahead and claim third place ahead of Argentina, and in the final, it was our group mates, France, who win up against Brazil 5-4 on penalties. So there you guys go. That was our journey at the 2022 Qatar World Cup. I mean... I don't know, what, what would you guys take away from it? Do you have positives from it? But I think we're still a far cry away from ever even challenging to win this thing. Well, I think that's a good thing. If we would've won it on our first try, then, I mean, crew mode over. And you know what? I think this means fucking war. I thought this team was pretty good, and I thought, you know, in four more years, a lot of these guys are gonna be in the 88s, the 87s. But I ain't taking any more prisoners, man. We need to find another cam who can rely on besides Quan Punch, man. When the stamina is low, I want the depth to go ahead and replace someone, and I just couldn't trust some of these players. I can't trust Kangan Lee. He can't hit the broad side of a barn when he's in there. Alfonso Davis, he's usually reliable at shooting. Honestly, he just had a terrible World Cup, and I couldn't bring in Orange Tang. I don't know. Oh, maybe I should have brought an Orange Tang. He had 89 for the shit. <laughs> but God damn it. Look at me. Look at me, people of China. This will not stand. We have four years, and this goddamn career mode is called the China Ruins Everything Career Mode. I don't give a crap anymore. I'm stealing everyone. High potential? I don't care if I'm ripping them away from France or any of the big boys. I want to steal them away. Because if the computer's gonna play me like that, complete bullshit, then I want some complete bullshit on my side. So let me know in the comments down below, who are the best players? Who are the highest potential players that I should be going ahead and stealing right now? And if you want to tell me live, go ahead, go on my Twitch booth. I will be streaming again this Saturday and Sunday with a special guest. And to all of my Twitch subscribers who support me financially for every single one of you guys who support me with a view, who love this series, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this for a living. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd probably be working some job that I hate right now. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Take the time out of your day to watch this stupid fat Asian. But yeah, if you want to get caught up on everything in the China Ruins Everything Karimo, go ahead and click over here, Dinsley Poos, if you want to check out my latest latest tournament of positions. It is pretty, pretty weird. Go ahead and click over here, Dixie Foods. But yeah, this is B-Minus. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself, stay humble. And until next time, guys, joy game.